Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here with uh, my second uh, video on gaming nostalgia, and I bet you guys did not see this one coming at all. Because um, this one seems so out of place, doesn't it? Uh, Donkey Kong Country, the, the original Donkey Kong Country on SNES. Uh, the reason why this one probably seems out of place, because I never owned an SNES as a kid. So, why would I be talking about this, and why is this a thing? Well, in, uh, in the last video, uh, talking about uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, I was the only kid locally that had uh, a Sega Genesis for, for a good part of my childhood. It wasn't until much later that I, I met anyone else with a, uh, a Genesis. So, all of my friends had SNESs. And this game came out in November of 95, I believe it was? I, I had it up a second ago. And came out in November 21st, specifically. And my next door neighbor, who uh, was my best friend at the time, he had an SNES, and we we would play it as often as we could. Like, we, we, we played outside as kids, but we also basically just you know, spent way too much time indoors playing video games. And, uh, yeah. That, that's just how things worked. But, we, we enjoyed it. We were, we had fun. And I just lost it. Uh, the reason why this game brings so much nostalgia to me, not ever owning an SNES of my own. I remember the Christmas that he got this, and he he and I, like I said, we were we were best friends at the time. He came running over, he's like, dude, you've gotta come over, I got Donkey Kong Country. And we We didn't know it was out. That was that was probably the 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 biggest thing about it that we didn't think it was out. We saw commercials for it, but we didn't think it was going to be coming out until later. I mean, we were kids, and the only information we had on, you know, keeping up with games at the time were gaming magazines, which, you know, were often not the best source, or, uh, we didn't have, we didn't have, like, a monthly subscription to them, so we were always, you know, just a little out of date. So that's that was uh, our our thing about gaming. But when he got it, we were so blown away by the the graphic style. Like this is you know, it, it was a big deal to have a 3D s game on a on a console like this because we. We had seen other things. Uh, my my dad, growing up, had access to a lot of computers and a lot of high-end computers for the time. And like we, I'd play things like Mech Warrior, which was you know more 3D because it it was based specifically around polygons. And you know, it 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 was different. But this was something completely unique to consoles at the time, and we'd never seen anything like it. We weren't sure we were going to see anything like it, you know, again. <laughs> so I went over that Christmas morning. I That was one Christmas I didn't really get much uh, gaming-related material on my own, so you know, the joys of having friends who are also gamers meant we got to, to share in the experiences, so that Christmas morning I went next door and basically lived at at his house for the rest of Christmas until Christmas dinner. And uh, we just sat here playing Donkey Kong Country and I I'm not gonna lie, I was one of those kids that would monopolize things, like, if I could. Like, not proud of it, but that's, you know, it is what it is, but 
Uh, so his his dad was a little I don't know, wanted his you know wanted his kid to be able to play his own Christmas present sort of thing, and I was like no it's it's two player co op. I was like, oh you can play together without having to to compete. It's, yeah. It's like okay well have fun. So we played the two player co op, and we had a blast. We we sucked at the game. Like as you can see, I am not a master of this game, which is why I'm really not going to be doing a let's play of it anytime soon. It's that's just something that's, you know, not happening. But I'm we we had fun with it. We enjoyed playing it. We just spent as much time as we could having fun in this world. And you know, it was one of those few times as a kid that I was like, you know, I'm I was kind of disappointed in uh, my choice uh, that I had chosen a Sega Genesis over you know Super Nintendo and it's it's something that you know at the time I kind of regretted because I, I, I wasn't getting these these types of graphics and games on a Sega Genesis but I, I was still able to enjoy them because my friend had a Super Nintendo. Which is why I've never really been one of those people to, to get behind the console wars. It's like both consoles had their, their strengths and weaknesses and, you know, appealed to different demographics. And, you know, cutting out one console because you're, you're more loyal to the other just seemed like a, a, a silly idea to me. It's something I, I couldn't quite wrap my head around. So, yeah. Uh, but thanks to him and and us being friends, I was able to enjoy this great game where I otherwise would not have been able to. And I think I'm supposed to take. Oh no. Like I can't take that one. I thought I was supposed to be able to take it with me. Anyway, like I said, I am I'm in no way uh, highly proficient in this game, as evidenced there. But it was something that I I was really really excited to to play. I was really excited to be a part of, and it was just one of those things that I I looked at and could not, for the life of me, think why... Oh, damn. Oh, I'm, I'm... Like I said, I'm just terrible at this game. Uh, but it was something... It, it was one of those brief moments as a kid that I'm like, you know, I kind of regret getting this game because now I can't share this directly with a friend before realizing that I could share it directly with a friend. There was nothing stopping me from saying, hey, I, I can I can go over to my friend's house and play this, and we can play this together. And from that point on, I was never really, you know, big on, you know, fanboyism. It's like, oh, well, you know, I got this game, so obviously that's better. Or that my my purchase choice was was greater than yours. That's I was never that was never something I I could get behind. And that Christmas I I will always remember. Like you know I made in the end I made a good choice by ha getting something that was different, something that uh, meant that we could experience different things, but still experience them together as friends, and not have to cut out a, a specific uh, I guess genre, or facet, it would be a, an appropriate word. And this this level, and the soundtrack in particular, Aquatic Ambience, is something that is always, to this day, going to be something that just mellows me out because I will really never be able to forget 
sitting there Christmas morning, listening to this, and just feeling like, you know, I've made a really good choice. I've got, you know, a good friend, and I'm able to sit here and enjoy these technological marvels that really just blow me away. Something that I I'm never going to be able to experience that feeling of this is a graphical marvel again. I, I, I imagine some people, the first time they saw the lightsabers in Star Wars, or, you know, the, the space scenes, sitting there thinking, you know, the, these are the pinnacle of uh, visual effects achievements, and nothing will be able to top it. And, you know, things have topped it since then, but I, I imagine a lot of those people have, have not quite felt the same about those, those advancements since. They, they appreciate them, yes, but uh, I wonder if they've had the oh my god sensation that they had seeing the the, the later effects after those. And that's, that's really where I was at this. Is like This is one of those games that basically just smacked me in the face thinking graphics and gameplay can go hand in hand. I, I didn't really care about graphics as much as a kid. I just wanted a game that was fun. And that's basically still a defining characteristic of me. I don't, I don't really care about the graphics as long as the game, you know, entertains me. That's really all I want. So, and with that, you know, this game showed me that, you know, you don't have to pick one or the other, nor do you have to, uh, be completely loyal to one or the other. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of rambling on that one now, but this game brought a lot to light to me, I guess. It was one of those things that's like, you know, it, it is, it's an interesting experience, and I'm glad it's something that I can that I was able to share with a friend and not limit myself to and not regret. That's a lot of things that uh, I feel happen in uh, this day and age of gaming is because you know, because of you know the way the world is at the moment, the economy is kind of a thing. You feel like you have to get the most out of your uh, your buck, and you do. And I'm I'm just glad that I I was able to get the most out of my buck and still enjoy enjoy everything that uh, I, I got out of it. Uh, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's it's kind of hard to articulate the the kind of conflicting like I. I was disappointed, but I was not disappointed, and that that sort of and missed. Uh, the the I was disappointed and not disappointed at the same time. I was happy and sad at the same time. That that kind of general two sides of the same coin feeling. It's very hard to, to articulate, but that's that's what I felt with this game. I was glad that I'd gotten a Genesis, but I was disappointed that I'd gotten a Genesis. I was glad that I was able to play this game with a friend, but not be able to play it on my own, uh, because I lacked the hardware, but I was glad that I didn't limit myself to one hardware platform, and that I was able to experience things that other, other kids didn't because they didn't have that platform as well. So it was the... I was happy about it, but I was also kind of sad. I, it, like I said, it's it's kind of hard to articulate, but that was that was that Christmas for me, and that's what I'm I'm, I'm showing off in this video. 
So uh, that's it for this episode of, of Gaming Nostalgia. And I will see you guys in the next installment where, again, I really want you guys to try to guess what it's going to be. I mean, there's so much. There's so many titles in history that it's it's almost impossible to guess. But I just want to see if you what you guys think it might be. Uh, so I'll see you in the next part. Uh, till then, later, everyone.